Hello and welcome to Retro Game Connect. I'm Dan Mastriani. I'm Ian Butterfield. And today we're taking to the streets of Tokyo To because we are playing Jet Grind Radio for Dreamcast. Yes, this is an interesting game about uh, rollerbladers uh, tagging the city with graffiti while the police try to stop them. Not Transformers skateboarding? No, 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 no. That's what yep. I think of jet grinding. Well, you know, Starscream on a skateboard. Yeah. Well, I mean, in Japan, uh, this game is known as Jet Set Radio, but I guess there was some kind of trademark issue, so they had to change the name. Mm. Yeah. Uh, anyhow, uh, the team was uh, less than 25 people. Uh, the average age was under 25. It took them about 10 months to make the game. Hmm. So actually, uh, the people who were in charge of this, uh, Masayoshi Kikuchi and uh, Ryota Ueda, uh, had actually just finished working on Panzer Dragoon Saga, the, uh, the famously rare and expensive Panzer Dragoon RPG that came out late in the Saturn's lifetime, which I never managed to get a copy of. Womp. Yeah. Uh, so they wanted to do something completely different. So they wanted something cool, something to use pop culture. Womp. So they kind of started with uh, Ueda's art. You know, he was, uh, he wanted to combine the, the pop culture, street culture, uh, graffiti, punks, uh, apparently Fight Club as in, like, you know, the movie or possibly book, I don't know which they're, exactly they were referencing, hmm. and they wanted to have an open world, which, of course, in this, at this point, would be not something you see, because yeah, well, the hardware didn't really have the power. Yeah, the time. Yeah, well... It was not super popular because um, it was really hard. Oh well, yeah. Uh, you know, even the, the, dream, Sega Dreamcast, the Dreamcast, like, which was you know much more powerful than the PlayStation, but still not as powerful as the PS2, which is where open world really started to take yeah. off. Jack so and Daxter. they had a lot of trouble with it, but uh, they managed to do it. Uh, their town is basically based on uh, what the team thought was cool about Tokyo. And in fact, uh, the grinding that is in the title was actually added in because it was a way to keep you moving quickly through the environment. Hmm. So basically, you know, you're in a city environment, there are lots of obstacles to dodge. You know, if you're just skating fast, you're going to be running into things. Mm -hmm. But if you're grinding down a rail, then you've got like a clear way to just be zooming through the environment. It's sort of like, oh, that was sort of used when they did the uh, Insomniac, did Sunset Overdrive. Yeah, you could grind a lot. And, yeah, there's that's going it's on like the main traversal mechanic is grinding. Yeah, I think that was their big hook. Yeah, I, that's what I've been yeah. playing recently. Mm. Got it on uh, Game Pass. Oh, yeah. It's like, oh, that looked interesting. Yeah. So I'm playing it, and it's it's weird. Yeah, it looked it looked decent, but of course, uh, I I still don't have an Xbox One, so yeah. so I think they did they did port it to PC. I right? just you know not buying new games. It's, I buy I buy old games because I can justify them as being on. Um, is like, well, I can make an episode of the show about this. It's it's funny because it's extremely meta. Yeah. Well, of course, uh, you mentioned that you really like self shading, so you're going to be happy because this is uh, an early example of it. I don't. Well, it's I, not necessarily the very first shell shaded game, but I think it's definitely the game that made it popular. It's the most, the first really visible self shaded game. I like self shading because it's just it's bright and it ages well. Hmm. Because especially when you do remasters like Okami yes. or uh, the Borderlands Handsome Jack collection, mm -hmm. a little polish, and it looks like it was released that for the generation that it was remastered for. Yeah, because you already got the flat shading, so yeah. you don't really have to do much with the texture quality. You just have to make the outlines a little smoother. Yeah, and since it's a non-realistic art style, you don't run into Uncanny Valley as yeah. much as, like, I recently was... Uh, replaying Star Wars The Force Unleashed mm. and like great story good voice acting at the time good motion capture good like animation now no yeah you think about like what was state of the art uh, photorealistic graphics in like the late 90s early 2000s and, I, and we were like wow this looks really realistic and now there's like wow these look like Ken dolls yeah 
and then you're playing like Horizon Zero Dawn, and it's like, oh right, this is not reality. Yeah. Giant robots, not reality. Yeah, I don't know. But basically, at the time, you know, cell shading wasn't a trend, mm. so people could be, you know, simultaneously coming up with the idea on their own. And uh, the reason that the Jake Ryan Radio team had the idea for it is they were wanting to think of a way to represent the way this art in the game. You know, they like they need flat shading, so like, how can we bring this out? And mm-hmm. cell shading is what the uh, game for. So uh, also. I mean, speaking of the aesthetic of the game, they actually uh, uh, consulted Eric Hayes, who is uh, an artist who had done album covers for the likes of uh, the Beastie Boys, Public Enemy, and you know, other other bands, kind of like as aesthetic, because like, he actually, you know, like legitimate street artist. Yeah, though it's like what late '80s, early '90s hip hop. Yeah. So. So there's a little bit of authenticity there, and that they talked to him. Uh, so of course we have the U.S. version. It actually has an exclusive new area, uh, based which I think is based on Manhattan. Hmm. Uh, it is. Uh, it also has some like additional music that was not in the Japanese version. Uh, it's got Rob Zombie and Jurassic Five, I think among amongst other people. Interesting choice. It's funny because like there was like a year where Rob Zombie's Dracula was in just about any game that had licensed music. Weird. It, it's so strange. It's like that year that All Star was in everything. Somebody. Yeah. Like, that was just. I used to joke that they never had to write another song with all the licensing fees they were getting from All Star being in everything. Uh, I'm not sure they ever did. <laughs> but the same thing happened with Rob Zombie. Like, there's just like Dracula was just in every game. Hmm. I mean, not that it's a bad song, but it's like, why Dracula? But it was, know, in, it was it was everywhere. I've seen Rob Zombie in concert a couple times. Yeah. Good show. Yeah, yeah. I actually, I never did. I can I I remember like hearing him on the radio a lot at the time and like you know I should I should buy like a White Zombie album, but I never did. I saw him while he was touring with Ozzy Osbourne mm-hmm. and I saw him while he was touring with Alice Cooper. All right, those both sound like good shows. I was mostly there for Ozzy and. Alice Cooper, but right. puts on an entertaining yeah. show. Made some good horror movies, you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Dragula's not bad. I also like Living Dead Girl, uh, the other other song of his that was popular at that time. Hmm. He's got that. He had like Thunder Kiss '69, uh, other stuff. And that that uh, the album, those songs were were on like really blew up. It was getting like the singles were getting a ton of airplay. I recall, which is probably part of why. Yeah, Dragula ended up in so many, so many games. Did All Star end up on so many games after Shrek came out? You know, I don't think it's like it's funny. It's like All Star was like movies. Movies were using All Star. Yeah, movies and commercials, and video games were using Dragula. So it's, it's a similar situation, but like All Star wasn't in games. It was it was in movies. You know so, what I, I? You know what song just keep, I've seen used in two commercials? Mm. Recently, and they ended up being back to back. There's a Doritos commercial that ends with that Backstreet Boys song with it, uh, I Want It That Way. Mm. There's a Geico commercial where there's a guy singing that karaoke, and it yes. starts with that. Yeah. And I was watching TV in the break room at work, ironically at Frito Lay. Doritos, haha. That commercial aired, and I'm like half spaced out. They do the I Want It That Way, and then they start. they did the other commercial right after. I'm like, whoa, 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 what? What what the hell just happened? Same song, two different commercials next to each other. Yeah. I was like, that's weird, man. That's funny. I I was was watching some commercial, and I'm listening to, they got like an instrumental going in the background. I'm listening to it. It's like, wait, is this the Beatles? Yeah. (laughs) It was like, all you need is love or something like that. And like one of the ones, uh, they're really big songs. Notice how many commercials are using Queen recently. Hmm. Well, I think part of that is probably Bohemian Rhapsody doing yeah. so well at the box office, so people have Queen in mind. Yeah. Frankly, it's Scotia annoying. I love Queen, but I don't like seeing their music used so capitalistically. Hmm. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, 
things got awkward. Speaking of the Beatles, things got pretty awkward. Like they lost control of a lot of their music, and yeah, it took a while for for the living Beatles to get the rights back. Didn't he Michael Jackson? Michael own Jackson that for a while? at one point. It was like he bought them out from under Paul McCartney, who was his friend. And Paul's like, and he's like, sorry, Paul, it's just business. I mean, <sighs> that's uh, that's a musical catalog that's worth a hefty chunk of change. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, which is why there's no Beatles and Jet Grind Radio, but there's several other bits of licensed music, which honestly you guys probably aren't going to be here able to hear too well because I'm going to turn it down so you don't get any copyright pro- strikes. Yeah, we can probably just turn the music off in the settings. Possibly. I don't know. Uh, half the time we don't remember to do that. Mm-hmm. Either way, uh, yeah, sorry guys. we go, we got to be careful about that kind of stuff. But we are going to go ahead before we start. Yeah, let's do the, the thing. Weeds, I'm on like game. three hours of sleep, so. Yeah, so they they got they got a little uh, disclaimer here because of course you can't get arrested for, for graffiti. So, yep, and you can also just get arrested for spraying paint in someone's face. Yeah, yeah, people tend to take a dim view of that. Yeah, they didn't bother changing any of the audio, so it will say Jet Grind Radio, but every, on screen, but everyone act just says Jet. Set radio. He just said jet grind radio, though. I thought he said jet set. No. Well, at the very least, uh, D- uh, DJ Professor K will uh, will continue to say jet set radio. Yeah, you go ahead and press start because he's just going to keep doing this. I do not have the save. Uh, uh, is the Dreamcast. Oh, there, okay. Never mind. I mean, I don't know if you just want to do a new game or you want to try the tutorial. I don't think I ever actually played the tutorial. I played the demo a lot. I just want to go for it. Let's get scratching. Somewhere in Asia, there was a city that cannot be found on any map called Tokyo Zone. But everyone just calls it Tokyo. The two hottest things in the streets of Tokyo Zone are the punks wearing magnetically driven inline skates powered by newly developed Nexium batteries <laughs> and jets. There you go. So we got, we got our world station, building. Manned by the DJ Professor K. So I guess they didn't need to change it in the game, so they didn't bother re-recording this. Those street mm. punks have been named Rudy by the people of Tokyo. They roam the streets. Uh, but aren't Rudy is fans of ska? Rudy's are or Rudy's? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I, that's at what I recall. All I know about ska is All Star. I don't know if that's really ska. I mean, like really early No Doubt stuff is ska. As far as I know, Smash Mouth is ska. Mm. I mean, Mighty Mighty Boston is kind of in that area. It was never a Rudy, but I did know someone in high school. So, I don't call, I think it might throw you right into a stage. Yeah, so we're gonna get our basic tutorial stage first. So we'll uh, hit that first. Yeah, this is this is a pretty sure this is a demonstration. You can tell because it's letterbox. That is, of course, a common technique for uh, showing you non-playable segments. Mm. Music's already pretty catchy. I guess it doesn't want you to grind just yet. I see also that the uh, the uh, pedestrians are still speaking in Japanese. 
Mm. Well, if you say so. Uh, yeah, that, yeah, that, that, uh, that woman you uh, almost knocked over was like, hey, stop it. There, boss, you know. Ah, yes, the days before dual analog sticks, so you're going to have to use a button to uh, pull the camera behind you. We'll give it a shot. Nice. There you go. Yeah, I don't know if they... Uh, I see the main characters are speaking in English. I don't know if that's new for the US version. That did not come up in my research. Hey, you. So basically you have selectable characters in this game. So you start with the guy you're playing, uh, but Gum will... Uh, join your team and you can switch to her and there are various other characters you get later on. Right here is going to show you how to do graffiti. These are the simple ones you can do like this, but uh, as you progress there are more complex graffiti that you have to do motions on the controller to do, which I assume they're going to tutorialize you on after this. Obviously, the phrase is tutorial ficate. Oh, okay. Sorry. Nice. I wasn't up on the terminology. Nice. Nice. Yeah, there you go. So, Gum has now joined your party. So you can pl continue playing as this guy or switch to Gum as you like. It should be sending you to a, m a menu after this. I like how everyone's kind of constantly moving. Mm. Let's go into the music. Uh oh. Then now you're gonna pick up another guy right away. Yeah. So this where it gets a little bit more complicated because you also have to do some uh, some platforming. Don't know if these are real ads. I don't think they are, but uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, there you go. You got to do that uh, motion. Seems like you're doing. It. You might need to do a bit more slowly. Mm. Like instead of doing it as fast as possible, kind of just yeah, do it smoothly. can't handle my analog moves. Right. Ah, you can do some sketching. But I I actually played this a lot, like on the demo station at work. So like I played like the early stuff a lot, but then I picked up the game and I never got around to playing it at home, so that's why I don't have a save. And it's also been a while, so I don't know too far into the game. I didn't get much past the tutorial since, you know, I didn't have my VMU on me. Yeah, so fun fact, there was actually an entire game based around Skitchin in the, uh, in the uh, 16-bit era, like on, uh, came out on Genesis, possibly also Super Nintendo. Hmm. So, uh, kind of a trend in the 90s and of course uh, the authorities were not super happy about it because obviously it's kind of dangerous. How do you latch on to the back of these? I think you gotta, whoop. Yeah, I think you might have to ooh, slide in just as they're passing you. Nice. That's uh, that's some good collision. Hmm. Yeah, because it's tough. It's kind of hard to uh, catch the vehicles. Is it gonna fail you if you don't actually grab the car? I don't know. I do wish they they switched up the uh, 
do some tricks in here. Okay. That was awkward. Weird physics here. Okay, whatever. Aha! Fight me, physics. I, I like that we passed that without actually uh, doing what it told us to. Mm. Okay, so we have to basically do some Tony Hawk stuff here, I think. Except on skates. Yes. Not a skating board, if you will. Right. Exactly. Aww. I don't know why it keeps veering off. I don't know. I mean, I played a ton of... Uh, 2D games on my system, so I feel like my analog stick should still be in decent shape. Because I use the D-pad more often. But I don't know. Uh, oh. That's interesting. I threw a little short of momentum. Nice. Uh, any key? Where's the any key? I have. I guess I'll have a tab while I'm waiting. Oh, no time for that now. The computer's starting. Uh, oh, that's one of my favorite Simpsons jokes. It was from the episode where Homer yes, got. Uh, I remember now. Yeah. So fat he had to work from home. Uh, you can. Well, okay. Never mind. I was gonna say you can go ahead and save if you'd like. Mm. I made sure to put in a VMU with with space. Good game, good game. Good game. All right, so oh, never mind. You can uh, customize stuff quick if you want to look here. If you want to select uh, different people. So before we start, I would like to mention. Oh, would you? I would. Yeah, no, looks like that's we want to save it, keep it here. If you want stereo sound. Yeah, it looks like there's no option to turn off the uh, audio. So you see there's an internet option. Obviously, we can't do that because uh, we are not connected to dial-up radio. Uh, dial-up radio. No. Dial-up internet. Uh, I unfortunately could not find a way to, uh, to get, get my Dreamcast online. But you can actually get custom graffiti. Off by saving pictures off the internet. Nice. I wanted us to have uh, like a custom retro game connect graffiti tag that we could be putting up while we were playing the game, but yep. I just uh, I couldn't uh, I couldn't get it, figure out how to get my Dreamcast online in today's day and age. You Unfortunately, my cable company does not have emergency emergency dial up anymore, so I couldn't do that, and I didn't I uh, didn't really feel comfortable like signing up for like a free service to use it for 30 minutes. So I can sign up, get off of this thing. I want to point something out first. Mm -hmm. um, the settings on that radio. Yeah. Do you, do you see what they are? Uh, they are... O2, CO2, and H2O. Yeah. Because apparently those are settings on radios. Yeah, yeah, I know. I mean, you know, I mean, you might be thirsty while you're using the radio, so... Yeah, so we can go ahead and start because I don't have any custom things. So, I mean, you know, as you like, play as whoever, I'm pretty sure, oh no, they do have different, different stats. There, there's your middle of the road starter guy. She's good at graffiti, so she might make it a little easier to do the tagging. Nice. Yeah, the, like what I wanted to do is, it's possible to run the Dreamcast modem to a modem in your computer and kind of like trick it into thinking it's dialing into the internet when it's reality it's using your like your broadband connection mm -hmm. but unfortunately yeah, you might want to grab the uh, some more of that uh, you have some stuff to tag down to the sides if you want to head down there I think you might have to jump down to get there Come on. There he goes. There he goes. 
Oh. oh my god. Yeah, I don't know. I don't remember it being difficult, but it's been a long time since I played. I'm sorry. You ran out of spray paint. I literally am just pressing the button. I don't know. Or, and doing the motion. I don't know what its problem is. I, I don't know, man. I really don't know. I, I Again, I do not remember having a lot of trouble with this. Oh. I just collected spray paint. You did. Did they not count? Count for some reason? Anyhow, uh, so yeah, you can like create like a virtual server on your, uh, I guess you didn't collect enough, I don't know. On your computer, but apparently the modem in my desktop is so old that uh, the current version does not actually support it. Interesting. Uh, may I try? Let me see if I can do this any better. So I will also have to remember what the controls are because I wasn't paying a ton of attention during the Right uh, trigger makes you accelerate, left yeah. trigger puts the camera behind you and starts graffitiing. A's yeah. jump. That's about it. Alright. Run into cars to get pain. Yeah. I figured. Oh my god. It's been way too long since I played this. Really? I just completely missed all the paint. It's exciting, you should have seen it. All Apparently right. the paint respawns. That is good. Because I collected those already. That would be super awkward. But I didn't notice that. They seem to respawn like almost immediately. Oh. All right. There we go. God, I'd, I would almost prefer the graffiti mechanics from uh, Infamous Second Son. I did not play that, so I uh, do not have an opinion. It uses the motion control and the uh, dual shock. All right, let's see. This one is almost finished, so let's see if I can use the. Uh... There we go. So that's one. Yeah, so I seem to be doing a little better at graffitiing, but worse at navigating. So that's fun. Wow! Right into the wall. Also, I, I completely missed that uh, little. I'm not sure how to. Try again. There you are, sir. Yeah, there's some uh, paint here if you want to grab it. Yeah, there's some easy ones if you want to. If you want to hit hit up some of those, uh, those cars, I think you don't even need to do the motion for those ones. There we go. Uh -oh. oh, here come the cops. Nice. Yeah, be careful. So I'm not sure what that uh, little Android head does for you. That is actually the developer's logo. Yeah, I noticed that. I think it's a collectible. Right. I know. I no. Yeah, this is a collectible. I'm just saying I don't know what collecting it does. Death. That's where I'm getting at with that. All right. There we go. Ah. I, I literally didn't even do it. I didn't even start the motion. Hmm. Got it. All right. There you go. Did a little better. There's one more guy in there. Okay, we can go to that too. I do wish she had some more things to say when she was jumping. Instead of like ho and ha repeatedly. Oh, here's the lead cop. The looker? Oh, you got number 45. So there you go. Oh, uh, yeah, grab some more. There's a big S can. I'm guessing that gets you a lot of paint. Do you remember where it was? I got that one. Yeah, there you go. That got you a lot of paint, so you should be able to... Oh, you got to watch out for the cops, though. But you should be able to do one more, another big tag. Oh, it sounds like they're right behind you. to finally have someone support. 
Well, you can, yeah, you can head up here. Okay, good. Come on. There we go. All right, I'm doing it now. Ah. Oh. All right, good, good. There we go. All I right. figured out the trick to it. Yeah. Oh, nice. You were able to. You were able to grab some. Uh, some paint by uh, smacking into uh, smacking into the rival uh, gang member, I guess. Obviously, it's just some random person on the street. What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, just yeah. Blast it. Yeah. At least he didn't. Uh, he didn't fail him. So. Okay, so the red paint can seems to be health. I think. Hmm. It doesn't actually give you paint. Oh, okay. I was wondering why they were different colors. Because they didn't tell us anything about it in the tutorial. Oh, there we go. The now you got a ton of paint. to give you a bunch of paint, though. Yeah. You got a ton now, so you should be able to finish. Don't forget you got one of the buses still. Mm-hmm. And also, don't forget to use the dash. The what? The dash. What dash? On the R trigger. It's not a dash. It's an accelerate. Well, you know. It's two very different things. Okay. The point is, you seem to be skating normally instead yes, of... Yes, except I am using the Okay, archery. well, I didn't see the spark, so I thought you weren't. Literally, I'm just holding it. That's, that's what you Okay. Do. Doesn't really do a whole lot. Uh-oh. Run, he's right behind you. Oh. Come on, grind. Yeah. I think it depends on how much momentum you have when you start. Yes, I know. Okay. But I keep having momentum, and then it says, you know what? I'm just going to not. Okay, I'm also saying that for the, the benefit of the audience. I'm not necessarily getting on you. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think you can also get more speed by doing tricks. Really? So. Oh, well, that's awkward. There you go. Yeah, you got a good grind going there. They got definitely got you some space. Lead them around, you might be able to get to uh... the controls on this game. Really, do not feel all that responsive. I'll be perfectly honest. Yeah. You know why? You got it. Ooh. Every Close. time I go to hit the end of a ramp. And hit A to jump, yeah. it just doesn't. Hmm. Like, my timing is better than the programming's ability to time it. I mean, I don't know. We're playing it on CRT, so we shouldn't be getting any lag. We do launch a little of this because this guy is like really iconic. Because that's what I was going for at the beginning because this is what I remember about the game is DJ Professor K going Jet Set Radio! Alright, so here's your rival gang. Leaving a lot of like random Japanese slang in it. As you like, like I said, I, I put in a, a VMU with some space if you want to save. So it's the first one. Yes, there we go. I mean, the music is pretty catchy. So we got a little time left. Do you want to try doing another stage? Or? Sure. All right, we'll do one more. Let's see if we got it down now. We'll try with this guy. Try our, our nice default hero. I I would be terrified to do to do cartwheels on skates. Yeah, that seems dangerous. You gotta know what you're doing. Interesting. You're all dancing. Uh, 
dancing no. in sync. And they also you know, all look the same. I've never been to uh, never been to Tokyo, so I, I can't say if this is something that actually happens on the streets of the city. I can't speak to the uh, how realistic this is. There you go. That's nothing. Well, you were up there. Nice. Yeah, you're probably gonna have to. I gotta say, I really don't like the controls on this game. Hmm. Yeah. This was in the single analog stick era. Yeah, but they just don't feel nice. intuitive at all. Hmm. There should be some place where you can get out of here. Well, yeah, but I'm trying to hit... There's these green arrows up here. Yeah. I'm trying to see what the deal is with them, but... Well... It won't let me. I mean, he teams up with Black Canary a lot. Uh, they've been very married and divorced various times. There might be points that you can graffiti after you get some paint. Can you get up from the staircase here? I mean, it'd be weird if you couldn't get up a staircase. Yeah. Granted, I can't seem to get up over the railing for some yeah. reason. Yeah, you definitely, uh, that was fun. It does definitely seem difficult to get up enough momentum to get up the, uh, wow. To get up, to get a, like a good grind going. Yeah, so you can graffiti those. I'm thinking those are bonuses, though, since like the red ones are the ones you were told that you had to do. Mm -hmm. Not the direct wanted you to go. Why do you keep going the other way? Nice. Oof, you're, giving me, you're giving me skate or die flashbacks here. Getting stuck in the half pipe. It's not that I'm getting stuck. I'm trying to do the thing, and then it's just not. Well. I mean, you did just do uh, tag some graffiti while uh, doing a backflip, so that was pretty cool. Uh -huh. oh, yeah, there you go. There's somewhere you can. Uh... Yeah, get out of here. Yeah. Are you kidding me? I feel like that is, should not be uh, acceptable police procedure for dealing with graffiti. Just bringing them down with a motorcycle. Well, that's what they do these days. Mm -hmm. They just knew. I guess so. Oh yes, let's, let's not get hit by the bus. I mean, it does help that it doesn't make you immediately go back to the more difficult motions. So if you're having a lot of trouble completing a graffiti. Oof. Yeah, you can leave early. If you're having a lot of trouble competing, completing uh, a tag. You're not going to be stuck doing the hardest one. There you go. Oh. Yeah, so I mean, again, just like, you know, shooting someone drawing graffiti in the face with a gigantic gun seems like a disproportionate that response. Wasn't exiting. Yeah, I guess you went too far down that path. Okay. I guess we're going to go back in. Last try, though, because we're hitting our time limit. Mm -hmm. But at least the music's good. But the gameplay is frustrating. Because it is not smooth at no. all. Unfortunately, again, it's been a long time since I played it, so I can't remember how long it took me to get used to. Okay, no more. I was gonna say, did you try pressing the start button? 
pressed all the buttons. Okay. But yeah, you know, this, this game seems like, uh, the cops in this game it definitely seem like they're uh, hitting you with a disproportionate response. Nice. Nice. I don't know if you, uh, did you steal, I wonder if you stole enough paint from her that you can uh, complete that tag. It didn't look that big. Yeah, that's kind of insane. Just running you down. I think it's one can per motion. Hmm. Nice. Lastly. Oh yeah, watch out. It's... I knocked him over before. He's got a green tag. I wonder if that means you yeah. can graffiti him. Except it won't let me. No? Okay. Even though I'm, like, doing it. Ha yeah. <laughs> 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 There we go. Uh, that's fun. There's also no way to reverse direction. Yeah, I see that. Like it literally just needs a button to let you pull a 180. Yeah. Nice. I'm not sure if they added that in like Jet Set Radio Future. Nice. I don't have it, but there was a, there was a sequel on original Xbox. Which is, I guess, somewhat divisive. Some people like it better than the first one. Some people feel like it's uh, not as good. Oh. But I have not played it, so I don't have an opinion. Frankly, I'm surprised people thought this was good. Yeah. Well. Oof. I mean, compared to other stuff at the time, yeah. it was really different. Different doesn't always mean good. Like and also really like clip off awkward uh, 3D uh, movement was kind of common at this point because again this uh, the spiral wasn't awkward. I'm just saying some uh, it wasn't uh, as uh, solved a problem as it is now. Oh, that looks awkward. No, wait, not there. It was not long. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of gas. Oh. So doing tricks when I want, don't want it to. I mean, is there really any reason not to, though? Because I wanted to land earlier than the jump then did because I was doing a trick. Ah. Uh, nice. Gotcha. Nope, you're going after that one. Nice. I mean, they are beneficial in that uh, either to your score or to your speed. Possibly both. I'm going to take a quick look in the manual to see what uh, the tricks actually do for you. They're, they're just for high score if they also have a gameplay benefit. Throw me off of what direction I'm trying to go. Uh, how am I? Woohoo. So some of the other, uh, other gangs you have to take on are the Poison Jam and Noise Tank. So that's fun. Dun, 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 dun. Do some tricks. So it says, well, Garzels, or get some air. When you do a trick, the trick name will appear on the screen. Earn you bonus points. Guys. Nice. Yeah, apparently you do have to use some tricks to get to some graffiti points, so. Yeah, but it, They do have a great gameplay uh, When you're function. in the... Uh, what the hell is that called? The tunnel there. The half pipe? Yeah, the half pipe. It just randomly chooses what direction you're going to go as you're, like, 
going up it. Yeah. Yes, actually jump, not just like stand there. Alright, there you go. There's, there's more text. Alright. Bro, move! Don't forget, I think there was still uh, another one down that uh, street where you find the rival... Uh, rival gang. There you I didn't want to jinx you, but I was about to say it looked like you were doing pretty good on that uh, on that graffiti. I didn't want to say anything until you finished. I finally figured out the trick of it. You have yeah. to like actually like slow down and not just go as fast as possible. Yeah. Like, yeah. So you see, if you grind, you gotta. Mm -hmm. go. Oh, falling damage. All right. So. If only I could actually gain speed in this game. Yeah. Seems to be the biggest problem. But anyhow, uh, I will say that clearly what it looked like you were supposed to do there was uh, get a good uh, speed going and grind over the uh, the crane arm. Mm -hmm. Which, yeah, you may have you've figured out. Yeah, momentum is definitely a problem. Oh, awkward. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to get out up there from there. I think you gotta jump from one of the rails. So like start at that end and just mm -hmm. like you can get away from the uh, tear gas. Jeez. I gotta say, the cops come at you heavy and hard, like, right away. See, I went to try to jump yeah. on the other rail, but instead I just flipped. Yeah, I saw that you, uh... And again, I just tried to jump, over, and instead you of jumping, I just stopped. Alright. Alright, well, why don't you, uh... Give it one more shot. If you can't make it, I think I'll, I'll take one more try, and then we'll. Uh... That's all right. You're still going fast. Keep going. No, I'm not. Eh, yeah. can I give it one more try? My God, just jump, you useless piece of crap. Here. Okay. Well, hey, look. We got number 81. Oh, apparently I can't go through it. Oh, there it goes. It's a gate. Alright. We're getting a bit too much of a loop of this song, though, I think. Bit too much of a loop in the gameplay. Uh, I'm getting a little, getting a little sick of it. Oh boy! Really? That's what I said. Oh, I it doesn't hit control by like at all. You're less of a person skating and more of a lead weight on wheels. Oh, oh. I don't like that. I thought I was out of the way. All right, well, anyhow, I got that one anyway. Let's see if we can make that jump. I'm already off to a good start, I can see. Wow. Yeah. It has no hit detection, except when it's trying to damage you. Okay. I did six tricks, though. Isn't that great? Uh, it is a little touchy. I'm not going to lie. Oh, my God. Ooh. See, you can't pick what direction you're grinding. 
Slightly dangerous. See? Okay. Oh boy. Starting to do the Risen Evil whack here. Come on. Well, like, there we go. Part of me is genuinely surprised people enjoyed this game. Oh. You seemed very upset. Awkward. I didn't even make it. All right, I think that's I think that's good. People really enjoyed that back in the day. Okay, well let me let me start with positives. I like the style. I like the music. But uh, um, the control the game it was play tough. sucks. Yeah. It was tough. I feel like I was eventually able to get the hang of it after I sat down with it, and I don't want to be too harsh because. This is like early 2000s, and there were still a lot of there's still a lot of janky like 3D control schemes at the time. I mean, you're on a controller with only one with only one analog stick, so it's not like you can got the fine control with the second analog stick. I played a lot of 3D platformers back in the day. Okay, I'm, I'm that not... had no hit detection. <laughs> it was a little. It was a little tough to hit the right target. You literally were like on top of the rail when he landed on it and he just now we're going to go to the side. Yeah. Uh, again, you know, people completed this game so it may have just been that we need just because a game more practice to more completable doesn't make it a better game. Uh, okay, I'm just I'm just saying that it's clearly possible to get used to how the control works at which point you may have enjoyed it more. I mean, I know you're used to more modern games where the controls have been more standardized. Like, you know, when I was growing up, this wasn't as much of a thing. I had to deal with games that that's, didn't play like other games all the time. controls. R to okay. right trigger to accelerate, A to jump. That's... Well, let it's me. Not the, it's not the the control scheme that sucks. I mean, like I'm used to it's games playing the, really differently. Well, it's just the fact that you move like a lead weight on square wheels. Mm. <laughs> it's, I wish I had played it more recently, so I can say whether I'd been able to be like, okay, I see what the game is doing now, and now I have the handle on the physics, and it's okay. But unfortunately, it's been a while. I, I do remember playing it a bunch, like at work, you know, on the demo kiosk we had. At, at Hollywood Video, so this is another one like Shadow of the Colossus. Before it, I have to say I, I don't really see what people got out of it. I, at least, though, you can appreciate the aesthetics, which were really different. Yeah, the, the aesthetics time. nice. So, but just can you understand that people might have been like, "This looks good. This sounds good. I really like the concept," and been willing to push through and get used to the to how the game plays. This is how people end up in bad relationships. <laughs> but they're still getting something out of the game. It's not like it's not like it's uh, every time yeah, they miss. It's not like every time they pun they uh, miss a jump, it, it it punches them, and they they're like, no, no, he was just. I mean, yeah, she's pretty and funny, but she's always yelling at me. So what's the point? Uh, the gameplay sucks. <laughs> okay, but we, again, you played it for for like a half hour. Yeah, you know. It may be like once you get the hang of it, you're like, okay, I see what I'm doing. You can hit the grooves. There are games that have like steep learning curves. And it, it, the first time you play it, it's like, this is terrible. How could anyone play this? But after you spend a certain amount of time with it, it clicks with you. And all of a sudden, you're, you're moving like it's nothing. Yeah, that's a 15-minute process for me. That's... But I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm if, just saying, if your character handles like it's lead, it just... I. It just doesn't control well to me. Mm. The amount of times... But what I'm suggesting that is if we had more time to get used to it, it might get to a point where, like, you're oh, okay, I get this, and then you're making that jump all the time. Just because you can work around bad gameplay doesn't mean it's not bad gameplay. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm just... Well, someone someone can uh, who has played the game more might be able to mount a better defense... Maybe, than, uh, but than I am. But uh, I'm sorry if you can land directly on something and then it just kind of jits you off to the side. Bleh. 
Hmm. I don't know. You, I, you put bad hit detection in. I felt like I was having more trouble with lining it up in the first place. It was less that yeah, it didn't detect that well, I was they, on it and that, and that I was kind of having a little trouble. Yeah, and that's another thing. The turning is atrocious. Hmm. I don't know. I remember liking it at the time, so I, I feel like I was eventually able to to get how it worked and play, do things consistently. But it's been a while, so I can't defend it as well as I might have liked with it fresh in my mind. There also just feels like some intuitive aspects mm. that sh- just you would think would be there. Mm. Like being able to turn a lot easier. You can't turn. You're like trying to turn a ferry in a river. Like it's just... I feel like that's one of those things that's obvious in hindsight that it took people a while to like... You look at, you know, I know you hate tank controls, right? Uh, So one thing they eventually added to tank controls is a quick turn. Yep. But it took quite a few games before someone was like, oh, you know what we should have? Let a button ask, that lets you turn you immediately turn around. Let me ask you: Did Tony Hawk Pro Skater come out before this? The first one, hmm. It might have been contemporary. What What was the year that came out in? Uh, I can check the copyright. Actually, no, I should have it right in my notes. Let me see. Doing some research. Two thousand. So it might have. Uh, the original. Pro Skater came out in 1999. Mm. Those had good skating controls. Yeah, no, I know. Yes, it played really well. So, you know. Though, I don't know if... Really? They would really have had time to to copy it since they were busy working on their own thing. I'm just you're saying just, it would it would have you're, 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 it would have released while they were st- they were in development. You're using the defense of at the time, but before it came a better game. Okay, <laughs> it, but if it came out in '99, it could very well have come out while they were here. Were I'm not deep saying, in development. I'm not saying yeah. they should have copied aspects. I'm saying someone made better skating mechanics at the same time. Okay. I mean, to be fair, Tony Hawk is just really good. They they really nailed it there. Yeah. You know, and it, but, a lot of this stuff seems obvious in hindsight, and it's like hard when you don't have the example to follow. Like, think of how bad some really early 3D platformers were until Mario 64 came out. There weren't that many, though. I mean, uh, you look at something like uh, people give all kinds of they're always down on like Bubsy 3D, right? But Bubsy was bad to begin with. The first Bubsy's not that bad. The very first game is actually, it's not amazing, but it's totally a decent platformer. But here's the thing, is like, you know, they, when they were developing it, they didn't have Mario 64 to look at, so they're trying to figure out things on their own, and it didn't come together as well as they would hope. So it's not, you know, you play something like Mario 64, and like, oh, yeah, 3D controls... This is so obvious, but when you're you know you're crawling around in the dark, don't know where you're going to, it can be very difficult to come up with that like very smooth controls that other games have. I'm just saying it's not easy. I understand that you're you're not happy. I I just don't want you to be like, oh well, Tony Hawk did it. Why couldn't they? Because, you know, you know, a lot of people try to do 3D platformers before Mario 64 and came up with completely different answers that didn't work as well. Just seems very simple. I don't know why they missed making you be able to turn. Again, though, seems it's... Seems important. It's obvious in hindsight. Seems like it should have been obvious to begin with. You, you say <laughs> that, but there, there are so many games that don't have this. Like, why didn't they do this? You know, it's like, it seems obvious, but it's very easy to not think of these things. They play tested it, right? I imagine. It didn't crash God. immediately as soon as we started playing the game, so. It took less than half an hour for me to go, man, they should really make you able to turn. Uh-huh. I could have figured that out in play testing. 
Just well, when you're really close to the game, and you've you've been spending months playing it while developing it, you're used to all the foibles of the controls, and it doesn't hit you that other people might have trouble with it. I just I just don't see it as the classic people to see it as. I like I like the art style. I get why people like the music and the aesthetic, but the gameplay feels janky and weighted. Hmm. I don't know. I, I I don't remember how long it took me to be like okay, I can play this game. So I I, I just can't. Uh, now let us know in the comments if you were able to be like yeah no I had no problem playing. Jet grind radio back in the day, so I don't know. It may also be you're used to how games handle now, where you can turn, and like the heavier controls are foreign to you. Whereas at the time, with people not having a lot of stuff to compare it to, you may have had like an easier time being like, okay, this is just how this works. Bad controls are bad controls. Hindsight or no? Okay. I'm just saying that it may be less, not necessarily that they're bad, it's that they're not what we're used to. And if you're going to this game without like the experience of playing modern games, it might not have felt all, as off to you and you would have had an easier time getting a handle on it. Do you, do you understand? Maybe what I'm, just people were limited in their selection, so they kept playing it. Okay. I don't know. Well, I did remember growing up and getting like one or two games a year, so you, you'd better make the most of the game you had. Yeah, meanwhile, I have gaming ADD. I play two different games a month, at least. Yeah. Game Pass is really good for gaming ADD. When I was young, you had so many games, and you, you had to sit down, you had time to sit down and master them. You couldn't be like, well, I don't really like, you, don't, you can't bounce off a game in 15 minutes because you're not getting another one for six months to a year. Oh, uh, it's not quite bounce off a game in 15 minutes. It's just like I play a game for a week, and then I'm like, I feel like playing a shooter now. No, I'm just I feel like playing an open world game. I'm just saying that you know a lot of people will be like, they they don't want to give a game a chance because they have plenty of other options. When I was young, you didn't have plenty of other options, so you sat down with the game and you you spent time and maybe you got to a point where you're like, oh, I get it, and the game clicked with you and you start enjoying it. I can usually get to that point in the first 15 minutes. And modern games are really predicated on being really accessible because they have a lot more room to put in like tutorials and things. This is like the same thing that I feel like they came up with when we, when we played uh, Pirates, Sid Meier's Pirates on PC, is that you weren't really getting the hang of the controls. You know, you were like, what am I supposed to be doing? And I, feel, I was like, okay, I feel like if you sat down and took the time to figure out this game, you could have a lot of fun with it. But because that was a game that had to fit on a floppy disk, they can, can't put in the 20 minute tutorial to give yeah. you all the ins and outs of the games. You know, they can't put in all this descriptive text to tell you exactly what you need to be doing. But they you can make had to, you, you turn. You just had to sit down while you were having trouble with the turning. That was one of your complaints, so that like, the ship wasn't turning. And, like, I tried to tell you at least twice that, like, okay, they're modeling the wind. You're in a sailing ship. <laughs> you need to worry about what direction the wind is going, and that might be why you're having so much trouble navigating the boat. But uh, oh, we're going to have to run. I'm really upset with how that episode turn, turned out. We're going to have to run that back one of these days. I, I got the 2004 Pirates because it was on sale recently. I'm like, we're going to play this at some point. We're going to do Pirates again <laughs> and see if we can get it this time. Because I, I feel like we bounced off that game unfairly. And it's like if we had time. And like I played 2004 a little more and because being a more modern game, it does have more time to explain what you're doing, which makes it a little more easier. So, again, I guess that's just my point is that it, it may have been like if we had more time to spend with the game, it would we would be like get the hang of it, and then we wouldn't be you wouldn't be feeling like oh this control is terrible. It's like oh, well this is just you have to be more deliberate or what have. You. But anyhow, we're just going in circles at this point, so I think. This is a good point to cut it off. So if you enjoyed us tagging Tokyo, make sure you give this episode a like. If you want to catch future episodes in which I'm having a hard time thinking of anything else I have in which graffiti is mechanic. 
but subscribe to the channel and you'll find out as soon as we find out. I've been Dan Mastriani. You can catch me on Twitter at, at NewTechCola. The only other thing I can think of is a too recent infamous second song. Mm. I mean, there's stuff like uh, Mark Echoes getting out, but I, I don't own that. So. Well, I'm Benny in Butterfield. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at ENG Butterfield. You can find the show at Retro Game CNCT, Facebook.com forward slash Retro Game Connect, and Retro Game Connect dot Tumblr dot com. Let us know. When I, I can't talk today. I've only slept like three hours. I haven't eaten either. Mm. Uh, let us know what you thought of the games we played. Let us know if there are any games you'd like us to play. If we can get our hands on them, we might just play them, or we might just not be able to turn around. But most importantly, make sure you join us next time on Retro Game Connect.